A major theme running through all of the accusations made against Diddy is Stevie J. He has been mentioned in a few of the lawsuits overall. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. He has, nevertheless, not hesitated to respond angrily to those who have made fun of him. He's been continually criticizing people like 50 Cent, for example. On Instagram, the two have been back and forth, and things are just getting worse. Nevertheless, Stevie J is steadfast in his beliefs and has no intention of turning against Diddy, at least not just yet. The latest Instagram video that Stevie J shared is a fantastic illustration of this. The video clip has the tagline, This is what a real Diddy party looks like. You may witness a number of Alist celebs enjoying fun while wearing elegant suits throughout the video. Notable attendees at the party include Kim Kardashian, Cardi B, and Can I West. In addition to Jay-Z it goes without saying that Stevie J is attempting to demonstrate the false impression of the Diddy parties spread by social media. That I've never seen my man doing anything foul like In a recent interview with TMZ, Stevie J harshly criticized 50 Cent for the accusations made against his close friend Diddy. You know. I, I've never seen it. I've known him for 29 years. Uncle Tom cast like that. I don't know if y'all saw the post when 50 posted about me. He came to Diddy's defense early in the interview, claiming he hadn't seen any of the actions that have been linked to him in a number of lawsuits filed in recent months. You know you can't brush under the rug? He said, I don't see anybody reporting about what Tatted Up Holly said about him beating her up and about these other baby mamas beating her up. He wants to bring the black community down worse than anyone else. He then brought up his previous offer to fight 50 for charity. And he want to continue to be a comedian? Why don't you go make some movies with Michael Blackson? One is doing a long victory lap while things for Diddy become more and more chaotic. For months, 50 Cent has been publicly criticizing the rap mogul on social media, posting every unfavorable information he can uncover about Diddy. Since the first Cassie lawsuit surfaced last year, he has been blogging about Diddy almost every day. This has also applied to some of the other individuals, like a Stevie J, who have been drawn into the rap veteran's circle following fresh accusations. A specific lawsuit producer Lil Rod filed against Diddy led to allegations against Stevie J that he was gay. Meek Mill was also the target of the accusations, and neither of them took it well. Stevie J has expressed his feelings regarding the accusations without holding back. I want you to fade, nigga. He even publicly denied them, vowing to sue 50 people who disseminated them. It did not, however, stop 50. He just uploaded a new picture to Instagram that included the titles of several videos and news articles about Stevie. Clearly, the implication is that the rumors are more credible than Stevie would like to acknowledge. Many celebs have been discussing Diddy on the internet this week. That's because the feds raided two of his properties at the beginning of this week. They disclosed that the raids were related to claims of sex trafficking. That was only a few weeks after the rap mogul was accused of having sex with other male singers and celebrities, such as Stevie J, in a lawsuit brought by Lil Rod. That one element turned into one of the Diddy Saga's most talked about details overall. Although many people have been rushing to express their opinions lately, 50 Cent has been discussing Diddy almost nonstop for months. 50 has been speaking since Cassie's initial lawsuit from the previous year, which broke the chain of allegations against the rap mogul. He was attempting to come up with fresh ways to take shots at Diddy, posting on Instagram almost every day. That has, predictably, never really slowed down and has accelerated dramatically in recent days. However, he might have gone too far with one specific post that infuriated Stevie J. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? and even provoked a threat in return. Stevie J responded with a clap after noticing that 50 had included him in accusations of grooming. She would gang them, or is it that you sucking little Rod dick? He confronted the rapper head on in a video that he posted. Without hesitation, he declares that he wants to face him in a live, broadcast fight. I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since Stevie says that in light of the rapper's most recent accusations, he wants to shoot the fade with him. Let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Then, he makes it quite evident that he has the confidence to not only initiate but also prevail in the fight. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you wanna do, Curtis? After his son's mother accused him of raping her in public, 50 Cent is going to war with her. He claims Daphne Joy's accusations are baseless and are solely meant as payback for him requesting full custody. One of the claims filed against Diddy has a direct connection to the ongoing drama involving Daphne, the mother of 12-year-old sire, and 50. As we previously reported, 50 Cent was promptly alerted to Rodney Jones' latest addition to the lawsuit, which asserted Daphne was a sex worker for the bad boy entrepreneur. After 50 reacted on Instagram by posting, I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker. LOL Daphne lit him up with a post of her own, saying let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of raping me and physically abusing me. Now, 50 claims the disturbing allegations in the sworn pleadings recently filed in a court case related to Daphne Joy the mother of my 12-year-old child, has required me to take all necessary legal actions to protect my son sire. He continues, the most recent false and baseless accusations by Daphne Joy are clearly in response to my decision to seek sole custody of my son. 
My son Sire is my main priority and keeping him in a safe environment is my only focus at this time. Naturally, 50 has been cruelly making fun of Diddy ever since Cassie brought a lawsuit against her former partner, and he hasn't stopped this week following the government raids on Diddy's residences. Although it's unclear what Diddy and Daphne's current relationship status is, they have previously been romantically linked, which doesn't seem to sit well with 50. He pursued her once more on Thursday afternoon, tweeting a picture of her with Diddy along with a remark that accused her of receiving money from Diddy, and reiterated the accusation that she is a little sex worker. For the record, Daphne has said, the claim that I am a sex worker is 100% false and character assassination. I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. There is now a potential child custody dispute, therefore her attorney will probably be going up against 50 cents attorneys as well. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.